go over the whole thing real quick here. So, this table shows the number of com customer complaints against airlines operating in the U.S. during the given year, right? And so, uh, as you can see, complaints were um, particularly high in 2010, it looks like. Um, anyway, but what we're going to do is follow this question and it says to use interpolation to estimate the number of complaints in 2007 okay so 2007 lies between 2006 2008 so let's start with that so 2006 there were a three to five complaints and 2008 there were 10,648 complaints and um, to estimate 2007 to estimate 2007 you would imagine to be be right halfway between these two numbers and, and, that, and that's it so interpolation is first get the the change so you can go 10, 6, 4, 8, subtract 8, 3, 2, 5 in your calculator. Right. 2303, 2303. And that was over a two-year period because it's two years between 2006 and 2008. So you, you go 2303 divided by 2. So divide that by 2, press enter, and we get 1151.5. So there was a change of that after two years, so, so kind of like halfway towards 2008 is, is this amount of change. So you basically go, you take this number and you add on your 8325, so plus 8325, and you get 9... Four seven six point five, right? And so that's our estimate for the number of complaints in 2007 using interpolation. Of course, it could have been way higher or way lower than that. We don't know, but that's a, a good guess based on this information. We were given the number for 2006. We we're given the number for 2008. That's a good guess for 2007. It's halfway between, right? So that's that part. And then the next thing they want us to do is complete the table below with the absolute numbers and the percentages by which the complaints change over each two year period. Okay? Round your final answers to the nearest total number. All right? Okay, so. So we got these are the numbers. Um, so from 2002-2004 was 9466 to 7452. What you do is you take what you do is you take 7452 and subtract the first number 9466, right? Right. Minus negative two zero one four. Then you take that change to get so that's the absolute change. So from two thousand two thousand four, the the complaints dropped by two thousand and fourteen complaints. Okay, they dropped by that amount. Now, what's the percentage change? Well, you put the per change percentage change is always going to be the change over the original. So the change was negative uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do it all on this paper but the change was negative 2014 and the original amount in 2002 was 9466 so I put this over this 
So negative two zero one four. Divide that by whoops. Um, oops. Uh, nine four six six. Press enter, and we get negative zero point two one two seven. Blah 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 blah. So negative zero point two one two seven, etc. I just want you to round that to the nearest whole number percent. Yes. Yeah, so so that would be negative and change your decimal to percent, you move the, the decimal point over two spots. So it'll be twenty one point two seven blah 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 percent. Or as you say that's just negative. Rounded to the nearest whole number percent, it's just negative twenty one percent, right? hidden you can't see that now I can say okay so that's the percentage change negative 21 percent right okay 2004 2006 we have uh, this amount in 2004 this amount in 2006 it went up but you, you take the the latest number the eight uh, three two five and you subtract the original number seven four five two and the change is 873, okay? So from 04 to 06, complaints increased by 873, all right? Now, the percentage change is you take that change and put it over the original. So you go 873, put that over the original. What was the original? For for the 04 to 06 range between 2004 and 2006, what was the original number? Yes, 7452. Yep, good. Out over that, press enter, and we get 0 0.117. Blah 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 blah. I'll write that down. 0 0.1171, etc. Give me that as a percentage to the nearest whole number. Nearest whole number percent. Very good. Yeah, so really quickly for anyone watching at home, you move this decimal point over two spots. That would be 11.71 blah 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 percent. But to give it to the nearest whole number percent, we round up because that's a 7. So it rounds up to 12%. Good. So the percentage change here is 12%, right? Um, and so on. 06 to 08. 2006 was this amount. 2008 was that amount. Go 10 Six four eight subtract eight three two five and we get a change of two three two three two thousand three hundred twenty three. You take that two three two three, you put it over the original. So from the two thousand six two thousand eight, which is the original number? Good. Put that over your eight three two five, and we get that. Now give me that as a percent to the nearest whole number. Good job. Nine zero. Yep. So again, that's that decimal to turn to percent. The decimal point goes over two spots. We got twenty seven point nine and so on percent. Round that near whole number percent. That's a nine. So we need to round up to twenty eight percent. Good work. Twenty eight percent. Good. Now, two thousand eight, two thousand ten. It, w it jumped up dramatically from ten thousand something to sixteen thousand something. So. 16, 508, subtract 10, 6, 4, 8 to get 5, 8, 6, 0. So it went up, it changed, increased by 5,860 complaints from 2008, 2010. Now, take that 5, 8, 6, 0, divide that by the original number, which was our 10, 6, 4, 8, and we get this. Now, what's that as a percent to the nearest whole number percent. Very good. Because we move the decimal point over two spots and that gives 55.03 etc percent and round down because there's zero here. So we're going to round down to get 
five per cent. Fifty five per cent. Okay. So overall this is what happened. Between two thousand two thousand four the complaints decreased by two thousand. That's a decrease of twenty one percent. 2004, 2006, they increased by 873. That's an increase of 12% from, from 2004 in that period, right? And then 06, 08, they increased by this number, which is an increase of 28%. And then from 08 to 2010, they increased by this number, which is an increase of 55%. So this is your percentage change for each period, right? So what else? Do they want us to do anything else with this? Oh, let's see. Use the use the second row of the table to estimate the number of complaints in 2001. The actual number was this. What events in 01 might cause the actual number to be higher than your estimate? Explain. Okay, so use the second row of the table, so percentage change, to estimate the number of complaints in 2001. Hmm, okay. Oh, the second row. Well, no, no, the second row would just be the change in complaints. So these are rows. So here's the first row, the range. Here's the second row, the change in complaints. And the third row is percentage change. So we need this to estimate in 2001. Okay? So we can do that. So, so um, what it's saying is, use the second row, this row, to estimate the complaints just back in 2001. So the complaints decreased by 2014 in this two year period. We're gonna do extrapolation, is what we're gonna do, right? So, um, and this is part C here for 14, all right. So, um, we, uh, 2000, 2001 is what we need to know, 2002, 2004. 2002, the complaints were 9466. 6. 2004, they were 7452. And this is what we need to know. So from here to here, that was a, you know, from here to here was a decrease of 2014. So we know that. Um, but what, but we need to get the average growth rate per year here, like that, what was the change per year? Because this is a two year period. So we're going to take the 2014 and divide by two. What will that give us? It'll give us negative 1007, right? So that would be it. It's kind of like if we were to S estimate into you know what it was for let's say 2003 you would just subtract take this number subtract 1007 right but to get back to 2001 so we're imagining that this change continues like in that direction as well so so it would be more wouldn't it in 2001 so so we're just going to say well it's 9466 plus 1007 Right, so um, three seventy three four ten. Right, so we're going to estimate ten thousand four hundred seventy three complaints in two thousand one. Right, if it if it followed the exact same uh, pattern as it did from 02 to 04, that's what it would be. As the years go on, it decreases by a thousand seven. Right. Or if you go backwards, it increases by 1,007. So just for fun, I'll, I'll just do that 2003 estimate. 9466 minus 1,007 would give 8459. What I'm saying is, this is called interpolation. It dropped from here to here in 2004, correct? So back in 2001, it must be more, mustn't it, than this, right? Because it's dropping as the years go by. It's dropping. So if you go back a year, it must have been a bit more. How much more would our estimate be based on this data? How much more? Well, every year it's dropping by 1,007. That's what we figured out here. On average, it's dropping by 1,007. So a year ago, it would have been 1,007 more, right? That's why we added it on here, right? So in any case, that's our estimate. But, but that's just an estimate because the reality 
was that in 2001, apparently there were a lot of complaints. There were 16,508 airline complaints. And then the question is, why is that number so high? Then what what we would ex what we would have guessed? Why was that number particularly high in two thousand one? What event what events happened then? So nine eleven happened then, right? 2001, so all sorts of airline complaints happening then, right? That's when it started the insane security at all the airports and everything else, right? Yep, okay, good deal.